One of a kind glass sculptures will be up for auction this weekend. Most are imaginary creatures said to have healing powers, and each is the vision of a child with cancer. They are part of a fundraiser for an organization that supports pediatric cancer research. Kathy Walsh reports the goal is to help kids like 15 year old Daniela. This was totally unexpected. Daniela Bilo was 11 when she was diagnosed with a rare brain tumor. It started with a headache on this side. So it kind of grew. She's had surgeries, radiation, and chemotherapy. For more than a year, Daniela was in remission. Then the cancer came back. Thankfully, it was growing really slowly. And it's not stopping Daniela. Last fall, she started healing through reading, collecting books for Children's Hospital. And she was asked to draw what her healing character would look like. Daniela took it to heart. The whole point is love and taking care of those who are fighting for it to survive. Her monster of love is a big heart with three eyes and two arms. Daniela's creation became Angelo Ambrosia's challenge. It made perfect sense to me. The, the heart, love, and then, you know, what everybody needs is to be embraced or hugged. The glass blower from Longmont found a way to make the monster 3D. A wonderful, whimsical work of art. I was amazed. I, I was speechless. The Monster of Love is one of 25 healing characters created by kids with cancer, brought to life by volunteer glass artists. The sculptures will be auctioned to raise money for pediatric cancer research. Neither artist could put a price on the Monster of Love, but Angelo called Daniela's love of his work priceless. I am so happy. Yeah. I'm Kathy Walsh covering Colorado First. Thank you, Kathy. The glass sculptures will be auctioned this Saturday at an event called ARTMA. It's a benefit for the Morgan Adams Foundation. For information about tickets, just go to CBSDenver.com.